Today, I'm thrilled to have Somnath Nanda in the show, to, and we give the Web3 passport to uh, Somnath. Somnath Hi. is known, also known as Baba. So, Baba, welcome to the show, the Web3 passport, and the passport, yeah, goes to you today. Thank and you. As you're known as a philosopher of blockchain and decentralization, we look forward to know from you about your own journey into block, say, blockchain and decentralization, and also to know about your, yeah, obviously the journey and the use case cases and in of blockchain and decentralization in our real world scenario thank you Cheryl, for having me here and uh, thanks for the web3 passport now i have the license to talk about blockchain yes globally yeah. and uh, through you probably most of the times yeah and uh, i'm glad that you're associated with uh, hughes young mass in ireland and you're running uh, pretty good right now and uh, keep up the pace and uh, yeah, like my journey started with blockchain and a good point was the philosophy of decentralization uh, because I feel it's a noble way of uh, living life through uh, community and through society, like having your people's uh, opinion most of the times. Um, mm. Because through blockchain, blockchain is the technology through which we can achieve decentralization where um, everything is done through a consensus uh, mechanism, through voting mechanism, where approval of most of the things are there and it's recorded uh, for future um, reading or future um, you know, research purpose, right. where you can use this information as a data for predicting or something. I'll talk a little about the AI part as well, okay. like um, why AI is uh, indeed uh, required for uh, blockchain sustainability because you need to feed that intelligence to those uh, participating nodes participating um, like in case of proof of stake you can say stakers validators so they need to have that intelligence so we need to feed that intelligence through those uh, software programs okay. and this is why like uh, imagine i bring in a uh, proposal to you and you say no i don't like it so there is some intelligence working for this a uh, result to have, okay, I don't like it, I don't want to vote for it. So that intelligence needs to be fed similarly to those nodes who are part of this blockchain network. That's and this is why where we are heading now. Okay. So like uh, there are a lot of scientists, researchers working uh, to bring in blockchain and AI together. Interesting. Yeah. So, uh, Baba, that was a fantastic uh, explanation of how the blockchain works and how the decentralization, the oh, there's on more to, to it. We will consensus talk consensus uh, algorithms yeah, and nodes. Yeah. Now, uh, I, yeah. So, for the audience, I have my laptop here with me because we have so much to cover with uh, Baba today in this conversation. We have to deep dive into blockchain decentralization and uh, uh, consensus mechanisms and algorithms uh, in a while, uh, gradually uh, with Baba. So, Baba. Um, so, how what is the what is the real life uh, in um, use case of blockchain currently in 2023? Of like, can you can associate every business with blockchain. Like that's how I look at it. Okay. Uh, because there are, like, if you look at a very small part of it, uh, your day-to-day -day online uh, mm -hmm. shopping system that can be on blockchain. Your supply chain, like for yeah. any order, there is a. Uh, a massive uh, network of supply chain and logistics running, uh, you can use blockchain there. Uh, even for hiring uh, system that we have at the moment, you can have blockchain there. Okay. Uh, for your uh, hotel bookings, for mm -hmm. your flight bookings, uh, everything can be transformed into blockchain uh, right. technology. Um, like in short, you can mm -hmm. say, uh, Okay, I will try to give you a tool to decide, can I use blockchain here or not? Yeah. So yeah. something like, imagine, uh, is there a business where data is involved? Mm -hmm. If answer is yes, yes, there is a usage of ledger. All right. So if uh, I, I was storing the data in database, now mm -hmm. let's take it to the ledger. So, okay, one tick of blockchain. Okay. Now let's look at this. Uh, do I need intelligence on those information that I'm storing? If yes, uh, like you are doing some data analysis, running some machine learning algorithm on your past data or something, can be done? Yes. Okay. Blockchain, undertake. Now let's look at the mechanism, how they function. 
Mm-hmm. Um, for any database updates, we rely on the application, we rely on the person or the guy who is running the database. Basically, let's say uh, there is a company XYZ who mm-hmm. is maintaining my database, okay. then they have all the rights on my database, right? Now, right. if I push that thing onto the ledger, yeah. it's a truth-based mechanism because every participants are involved to, through a consensus mechanism to validate that information. Okay, then I need that. Like every business needs that. Like yeah. why to run on a trust, but on the truth. Mm. So yes, tech. So if a business takes all of them, I feel that okay, they should transform to blockchain technology. Right, it can transform to blockchain technology. But has there been any industry that's been successful uh, by now? Or oh yeah, like there uh, are, okay. you so all examples. Us with the, uh, yes, with those. absolutely, there mm-hmm. are many. Uh, if you look at, uh, I was recently reading an article, uh, not recently, probably it's been a year now. Um, I was having my holiday and I read yeah. about this jewelry company. They wanted to make NFTs of their uh, jewelry. And, uh, but they will be delivered later, like uh, you do in a normal business where you say a future thing and you give a bond kind of written on a paper and you uh, have a value to that uh, particular paper, piece of okay. paper. Now the same thing came up as an NFT that we're going to make, let's say, 400 jewelry of this particular size of this category. I don't know much about that, but uh, I'm just giving an example. So they could do it. Uh, if you look at all the big brands like uh, yeah. Nike, Pepsi, mm-hmm. and uh, if you look at all the... Uh, maybe fashion uh, beverages brands. brand, yeah. uh, fashion brands, mm-hmm. car brands, like uh, the F1 cars. Okay. They are also transforming their business to blockchain technology. Okay. Because they also want a footprint in future. Right. And uh, so they're believing earlier, in it. if you look at the business, yeah. it was something like, okay, let me give you an example of shoes. Mm. So when you go to uh, buy a shoe, you look at the, like you go for the rack and in the rack you see one size like 10 size, 9 yeah, size, 8 yeah. size, 6 size. Okay, they are given in one, like in different designs uh, or maybe in a similar design of one pair. Mm. But can you mix match? No. So that experience was never there. No. And so now they have transformed that shopping experience like where you go into metaverse, yeah. you choose your own size, you choose your own design. So shopping is now yeah. provided as an experience rather than a service what it was earlier. Right. Because if you look at it, there was a shop, you go there. Yeah. Now you can go to anywhere and uh, for an identity, you just need few NFTs as a token. Mm-hmm. Earlier it was like a card and those cards you go used to swipe in, let's say, Nike store, in Adidas store, in Puma store. But now you just have one card, one identity and you just go travel wherever you want to do right. in Metaverse. And, and now as you have touched upon NFTs, right?